Hi, so, um, another video. Uh, not CSGO, because I don't like CSGO as of recent. I've kind of gone off it, but I've decided to make a video anyway, try and be productive, and I've gone for Payday 2. It's a game I like quite a bit. I play with quite a couple friends. It's quite fun when you can play it with friends, and unless you're like me and you don't have any fucking friends, but you can, of course, still mod in the game to give yourself a sense of power. So, uh, basically all I'm going to do today is just show you how to do that. But, on a serious note, I know that there's a lot of controversy around whether it's justified that you can mod within not just Payday 2, but video games in general. And I'm just going to tell you right now that, in my opinion, it's okay to mod if you're not going to be ruining the game for other people against their will. For example, you go into a game and you start like ending the heist immediately and basically ruining the fun of the game for other people that haven't willingly said that you can. So, I'm not supporting ruining the game. I'm supporting having a fun time for yourself while also enjoying the game. So, uh, there's also the idea that you'll get banned when you start modding. The thing about Overkill, which I and a lot of other people who mod like, is that with Overkill, they do not ban people who mod. Unless they're hacking other people's accounts, taking over their accounts, taking things away from people, hurting the community, and destroying the the game basically for other people so sorry about that anyway like i was saying overkill don't ban people for cheating unless they're ruining the fun aspect of the game for other people and not really that just taking over people's accounts really so you're perfectly allowed to mod like you see here i've got silent assassin beardlib perfection pay to blt i've got a lot of things and you know, I've not been banned. You can see all of these weapon extensions. I've not been banned. If I got banned, I may no I may appeal the ban, but I'm not going to get banned. So that's not something I don't have to worry about. And um, if you want CSGO videos, it's probably going to take a while because the only CSGO videos that I personally want to put on my channel, channel are CSGO videos of highlights from matchmaking and obviously good moments of matchmaking are few and far between when you're in gold nova one like me because you're shit at the game but i'm going to try my best to get a few csgo videos out before i completely stop playing csgo but you to be honest you can just expect quite a bit of payday 2 and some gmod videos as well so yeah, without even more delay, we'll just get into how to mod Payday 2. Okay, so your first step is you're going to need to download the BLT, which is effectively what enables mods on Payday 2, and you're going to have to install the mod menu. Now, this is a mod menu, this isn't just a tool that lets you put your own mods into Payday 2. This video also includes a mod menu, so just if you don't want a mod menu, click off this video. There's an another video out there for you. But what I'm going to tell you now is a pretty basic tutorial on how to mod Payday 2. So, as I said, you're going to download both the BLT and the cheat, and how you do this is you'll see I've already got this Google page open here. Uh, this website called Pirate Perfection, very well known, a lot of people use it for modding. Um, what I'll do is I will just grab this link right here on the top, and I will put that into the description of this video, and you can just click on it and take you to the website. Now, here's the thing. You need to make an account with a registered email and a password, and you have to give the reason why. It takes about five minutes, really. So, it's really it, it's necessary and it's not too much of a hassle honestly just just do it it's not malicious if it was malicious i would have a virus on my pc by now i've been doing this for ages since uh, about 
Well, I've used mods on Payday 2 years ago, but on this current PC I'm using, I've used them for about six months, but I've used them for a long time before, and I've always trusted this website, amazing website for modding, so anyway, you're on this website, you've made an account, you've signed in, you just click on this, download this file, and when you download this file, what you're going to get is this. You open up this, and what you have here is the actual um, mod and the DLL. Now, what you do here is you're going to get these two folders, and where you want to put them is you go into Steam, go to Payday 2, you right click, you go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Then you're going to see all of this. Now, as you can see, I already have this and I have the mods folder. I have both of these files right here. So, I'm not going to do this, but it's actually as simple as drag and drop them from WinRAR or 7-zip. Oh, yeah, I'll put either WinRAR or 7-zip in the comments, just in case any, in the description, just in case any of you do not have them. But, you're going to go like this, sorry, go like that drag these two folders once they're both these two files once they're both highlighted and just literally drop them over here just put your mouse over here above this and just drop them in make sure you don't put them in a folder though because that'll give you a couple problems but just drop them here you'll be completely fine and you're ready to go now you have to have payday 2 closed while you're doing this but i've not inserted it it won't do it'll just take some time to extract if you're inserting it yourself but so you've done it now, you close both the game directory and the WinRAR file, get into Payday 2, um, you've relaunched Payday 2, and it should greet you with a message saying something on, along the lines of, thank you for using Pirate Perfection, and you'll see this here, and it will most likely check for updates for the BLT in Pirate Perfection, that's all involved, and if you press F1 on your keyboard, you can see all of the um, pre preset band keys, you got num1, num2, num3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus minus. Um, you can only use num1 and num number pad 2 in the main menu, but when you're in game you can obviously use all of these, everything here. Um, just to clear the things up, the slow motion, X button 1 is actually mouse 4, um, I believe, it, yeah, mouse 4. And I don't know why it says X button 1, but it's mouse 4. If you don't have a mouse 4, then I believe it's the button just to the left of Z and in between left shift. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly show you how this mod menu works. You get pipe perfection set up, all of the cheats and flying and stuff, and then you exit this and you have to go to... press. You're pressing 1 on your number pad, make sure you have num lock on. Go to level can add it and then you press save and it'll add XP or level. You go to money, you can add a bunch of money. Like, just to show you this works, for example. If I add 1 billion cash, see it's 6 million right now. If I go to inventory and then back out, I've got 7 billion. So it fully works. Then you've got infamy, points, you've got skills, unlock all skills and stuff. Inventory, unlock, this is quite useful for weapon modding if you can't be asked to grind for continental coins and then you've got other which is just achievements actually and you got mask colors materials everything there um yeah that's about it and in the menu of course you can use three four five six seven eight nine plus and minus and f2 f3 or four but that's all you can use in the main menu i will not show you gameplay of this today but there will most likely be a video out sometime within the next week or so of footage of me having fun using mods in the game. And it's probably going to be quite a good video, so uh, you can keep an eye out for that. But other than that, that's everything I've wanted to say in this video. You can get things like Beardlib and Silent Assassin to get your own mods, but I'll do that in another video. If you guys like this video, I'll tell and I can make another one, definitely. And I'd love to make another one. I like making videos on tutorials and how to do things, teaching people things. So, yeah, that's it. 
if you got any problems, just say in the comments. I'll do my utmost to help you. And yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next video.